this is people holding a parade in conquered cities in Baghdad and Iraq to face this terrorist. It's a terrorist parade. So all this is a terrorist parade. The innocents are just stand by much wondering what the hell is going on. Celebrate what? The death of so many innocents? 200,000 dead in Syria? How many dead in Iraq? Thousands? Tens of thousands? How many wounded? How many left crippled? How many left blinded? How many left without help? How many children are killed? These are the questions. You don't celebrate this kind of stuff. You don't celebrate terrorism. You don't celebrate terrorism. It's not the way to go. This is one of my pet peeves with the Koran, is they twist it up into something it's not. They take it from a from a really a great religion and turn it into something twisted and ugly, evil. So that they can have their power and play God, play play dictator of people's lives. Can't tell people how to pray. Can't tell people when to pray. Can't tell people not to be gay. Can't tell people not to eat or not to steal when they're hungry. Because they're gonna steal. Because everybody does when they're hungry. Nobody walks around, walks around waiting to starve to death. People have to eat. You know, it's a shame of human life that they don't understand that the Koran sets them up for freedoms and rights of humanities, and they know nothing about it. They understand nothing about it. They understand nothing about it. Blame it on the West. Can't blame it on the West. This is their doing. This is their terrorist war. Terrorist parade. That's what it is. It's a terrorist parade, and that's all it is. This is some day you fake news. Sadness of human life. Nobody mourns the loss of the people dead, laying dead in the streets, the bloody bodies, the massacred bodies, the butchered bodies, the tortured bodies, the blown up babies. Nobody mourns them, except the parents and the people and the innocents that live in these countries. That's the sadness of human life. Thank you for watching.